What's poppin'? Who you a Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got oh, options. I can pass that bitch like Stockton. Hello. Welcome to Samahong Modders 2020-2021 Fall Video Auditions. Woo! My name is Brittany Ye, and I am one of the artistic directors for this year. I'm Derek Zhang. I'm one of the other artistic directors. Okay, so we know this year is going to be weird. Uh, it's weird for everyone. So auditions are also going to be a little bit weird this year. We're going to uh, talk a little bit right now to just go over everything you need to know so that you can submit your auditions to Samahang Modern. Okay, great. So step one, you want to watch through this video, uh, learn the audition piece, and if you have any questions at all about the choreo, if you uh, want to meet us or if you want to meet other members of L-SHIP, we will be hosting a live office hours for this piece over Zoom on October 9th from 5 to 7 p.m. So you can see that in our Facebook event page, okay? And then after that, so this next part is important, you want to submit a video of yourself doing this piece along with a 30 second freestyle, okay? And the, for the songs to freestyle to, make sure you also go onto our Facebook event page because you will be finding two different cuts of music. Uh, each cut will have the audition song as well as a transition into a freestyle song. So you'll have two, essentially two options of songs to freestyle to. Just choose one of the two that you want to freestyle to more and record yourself doing 30 seconds uh, immediately after your audition piece. So after you record yourself doing the audition piece along with the freestyle, you want to submit a written application along with that video to our email, which is samahongmodern at gmail.com. The video and the written application will be due on October 10th by 11.59 p.m. And you can find the link to our written application also in our Facebook event. So make sure you reference that Facebook event because it'll have all the info you need, including our written application along with the music cuts. And we'll probably post reminders through our uh, Facebook event posts about the cuts and about the written application. Let's get started. Um, so a couple things before we get started. I'm going to be doing the choreo to the front for this section and Britt is going to be doing it facing the back. All right, so look to her for your lefts and rights and look to me for the details and everything. Okay, so for this audition piece, it's going to be on the faster side. It's going to require kind of a lot of weight shifts and just remaining light on your feet. So make sure you never really let your weight sink into any part of the choreo, otherwise you'll probably start to fall behind, okay? Let's get started. Uh, the first move is gonna be on five, six, seven, eight, one. It's gonna hop on the one count. So on one, you're gonna want your feet around a little bit wider than shoulder width. On one, you're gonna take your right arm, reach out, and pull. And as you pull, you're going to bring it around town, okay? You want to bring it around town to your left. I believe that is counterclockwise. So boom, left, and that's on one, okay? After that, you go one, you're going to collapse and just kind of fall onto your knees, okay? And you want to still be looking forward for that, but just kind of like a you're tired type of pose, okay? So again, five, six, seven, eight, go one, Two, and that's gonna be on two. Uh, you probably won't have enough time to take it around the whole way. I probably do around halfway, and then I interrupt that movement by moving down. And this pose, you can just uh, freeform it, do whatever you want. Just kind of convey like a, a chill eh, type of vibe. Okay, moving on from there. So you went five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three and four, so your next moves are gonna be on and four. So you're gonna be in this pose for like one count. So on and four, you're gonna take your arms, cross them, and uncross them, that's on and four. And then you're also, at the same time, gonna step left, right. Okay, so after you hit and four, you want to roll your shoulders and kind of do a very slight body roll up slowly. You don't have to make it a very big movement, it's very subtle. So again, from the top five, six, Seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. Okay, and you're gonna do this through the five count. Five, and then you're, you're gonna have six and seven and eight, one. That's gonna be a short little combo. So going over feet first, on six and seven and eight, one. 
what you're going to do is you're going to take your right foot, step behind your left foot, then step back with your left foot. So this is six and. Then you're going to hop on your left foot. Oh, not left foot. Hop on your right foot two times. So step and. Next, you're going to plant your left foot down and rond de jambe forward on eight. And then you're going to fall onto your right. Okay. So doing that again, you just did, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, step right, left, right, right, rond de jambe forward, down, onto your right. Okay. Adding arms, you're going to go five. On six, when you step back with your right foot, you want to lean, and you want to cross your arms in front of you. Okay, so this is on six, and um, and you want to uncross it. So kind of do like a, you, you don't want to just go cross, uncross. You want to kind of lift through the movement. Okay, so it's going to go six, and, and this is your left foot. Then you're going to go seven, hop out. So you want to extend your left arm slightly on seven, and you want to lift the phone to your ear, and you want your left arm to be around parallel to the ground. Okay, so seven, and. On the rond de jambe forward, you want to swing your phone arm, your right arm, through, and then you want to fall and drop it. Okay? All right. Uh, taking that again from the top. Five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight, one. Okay. So moving on from there. Eight, one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fall onto your left foot um, and kind of clap your arms, kind of like a what pose. And as you're doing that, you wanna kick your right arm forward. So it's gonna go one, two, like that. Three, you're gonna plant your right foot. And then, um, let's see, three, and on and, you wanna cross your arms in front of you and land them onto your hips. Okay, so this is. Uh, you just did one onto your right foot, two, three, and four. Yes. Okay. Um, actually, I think the counts for that might be slightly off. It's actually to the lyrics. So, um, again, onto the right foot, you're going to go one, fuck it, she says. Step, I got options. So it's kind of like four and options. Okay? Um, finishing off this section, so you just did four and, on five you pause, and then on six and you want to grab your two phones, okay? Uh, just the up, upper body first, it's right arm, I mean right shoulder up, left shoulder up, okay? So you go right, left, at the same time your legs are going to go left leg, right leg. And you kind of want to drop to a mid-ish level, okay? So again, from here, I got options, on five, nothing, and then Six, and. Okay. This next part is going to be very fast, so you want to make sure, again, that you're not kind of sitting too deep into the movement. You want to kick. You're going to bring your right foot back, but you don't want to plant it. You want to be on your toes, because next you're going to switch your legs and cross your arms in front of you, and then you're going to uncross and slide out to your right. Okay? So let's take it again from options. Ready? One, two, oh, options is going to be on four and. One, two, three, four and, five, six and, kick, seven and, eight, one. Okay, let's bring it back slightly. So let's bring it from one. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, go one, two, three, I got. Options five, six, and seven, and eight, one. Okay, let's take it back a little bit farther. So we're gonna start from let's see, from four and that four and, and then the next followed by the that combo. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven. And eight, go down one, two, three. I got options five, six, and seven, and eight, one. All right, 
Let's take it back from the top really slowly. Okay? So remember from the top it goes one, and you bring it around time. Five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three. I got options. Five, six, and seven, and eight. One. Okay. All right, so that's gonna be our first little checkpoint right there. We're gonna drill it again from the top a couple more times. Um, if you have any parts that you didn't quite get, just rewind the video, slow it down, do whatever it takes uh, for you to get comfortable with it. Okay, so we're gonna go over the first section again uh, slowly. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, and seven. Options five, six, and seven, and eight. One. All right, we're gonna go over the first section again. Medium. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three. I got options five, six, and seven, and eight. One. Alright, yeah, you can even see on the medium this next part. This combo requires a lot of fast jumping, so you kind of, you don't want to rush it, but you definitely don't want to linger in that move for too long. So, we just reviewed the first half of my section. Um, again, if you don't feel comfortable with any of, the, any of the runs, just like rewind and do it again until you feel comfortable. We're going to move on now, but we're going to start from the top and then we're going to go through it slowly, and then we're going to start stringing on after. Okay? Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three. I got options. Five, six, and seven, and eight. One. Okay, that was a more like medium tempo, my bad. But anyways, from here, one, two, so for that, those two counts, just go through the drag, but you wanna just nod your head on the even count, so one, two. This next part uh, is really easy, it's more of a kind of, it's more about performance. So one, two, keep nodding your head on three, four, but you just wanna step in front of you with your left foot, three, step in front with your right foot, four. Okay, so again, from just one, two, ready? Five, six, Seven and eight, go one, two, step, left, right. Yeah, so I kind of swing my arms like this, but that's not required, just do free arms. Um, so again, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's see. From here, there's gonna be this really fast combo. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of leaning, so you really wanna tighten up your core while you do this part, okay? So, one, two, three, four. Five, it's again on six and seven and eight, one. So on six and, you're gonna go just the legs, invert, lean to the left, invert, lean to the right, and then lean left, right. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, a lot of leans, right? Adding in the arms so it'll make more sense. You wanna go, let's see, starting from here, five, six, seven, eight, go one, two, Three, four, on five and, sorry, yeah, wrong count, it's, it starts on five and. You wanna go five, so put your right arm in front, and you want to make around a 90 degree angle with your right arm, so that's on five and. Six, bring your left arm to the front, and, and do it to the opposite side, right? Seven, you want to bring both your arms out like this. Seven, and, yeah, okay. Let's take it again from, the slot. Five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two, left, right, five, and six, and seven, and. Yeah. Okay, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. Alright, that time was a little bit faster. Okay, but moving on, 
eight one. What you want to do with your with your hands is kind of like you're throwing laundry um, to dry. So you want to go eight one. And while you're doing that, what's important is that your first time you do it, you want to do it to your right hip. Second time, you want to do it to your left hip. And notice when I do my second time, my right shoulder kind of faces forward. Um, in addition to that, what you want to do is every time you bring it down, you want to pop your knees slightly. Five, or sorry, eight, and then one. And then finally, in addition, so eight on one, you want to shift your weight onto your uh, right foot, and you want to kind of drag your left foot in. Uh, it's kind of hard to break down this movement into separate components because it, it's kind of supposed to blend together. So I'll just show you. Um, let's see. Step and, so you're here, you want to go eight, and then shift your weight, one. Yeah. So you should almost feel like you're going to fall over, but you don't. Um, let's take that from the slide. Five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, one. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, one. Okay. Moving on from here. So on one, you're kind of sliding over. Your weight should be on your right foot, but your left foot is sliding back, right? So what you want to do is you want to shift and replace your right foot with your left foot. So my left foot's sliding, my weight's on my right, but then I shift it, so now my left foot has all my weight. While you're doing that, on eight, one, two, just kind of scoop uh, to the opposite side. Um, again, this, this arm isn't necessarily very set in stone. You can replace that with whatever. Uh, but what's important is that you replace the leg. Moving on, this is kind of awkward, so we're going to step out of it. So just lean to your left still, but you want to place your right toe down. Okay, you want to be on your tippy toes for this next part. Um, so your right foot, and then you want to do your left, and still keep this lean. So this next part, you kind of want to have like a, a very upright groove kind of bouncing upwards. It's supposed to kind of look a little weird. Um, that's intentional. So again, it's going to go right left, and then cross over and change the direction of your lean. So right again. Okay? Um, let's see. Let's take that again from the, let's start from eight, one. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, and this is three, four, five. Yeah. And free arms again. Okay. Five. Uh, finishing off this section, it's going to be a kickball change, so you want to kick with your left. So six and seven. At the same time, your arms should swing into this kind of like you're dabbing, but more like, yeah, yeah, you're dabbing, but your arms or your hands are kind of dangly, yeah? So again, let's take it from eight, one, and we can string that together. Five, six, seven, eight, one. Replace two, right, left, Right, you want to kick with your left foot, kick, ball, change. And you want to drop a level slightly. Okay. Now, for this next part, the left kick, ball, change, you want to, after you're here, you want to automatically put your right foot to the other side. And you want to just kind of throw your arms out like this. So, again, you don't want to shift your weight onto your right foot and keep it there, because then you'll be, you'll be behind when you put it back. So you want to go kick, ball, change, and finishing this off, just go neutral. I kind of have my left hand kind of to the front, but you could also just do like this. It doesn't really matter. Okay, um, let's do it um, one more time from the slide. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two, three, four, go. Five, and six, and seven, and eight, one, replace, two, three, four, 
five, kick, ball, change, back, the front. Okay, let's do that one more time at tempo. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, Okay, so now you've finished learning all of my section. We're gonna run it from the top very slow, then we're gonna do it medium tempo, and then we're gonna do it at the full speed, and then we'll show it to you with music, and then you can also do it along with us uh, at music. Okay? Great. So let's get started with slow tempo. Okay, so remember, your legs are shoulder width apart. Ready? It starts on one, five, six, seven, eight, go one, two, Three and four, five, six and seven and eight. One, two, three. I got options five, six and seven and eight. One, two, left, right. Five and six and seven and eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven, eight, one. Okay, so if you were struggling slightly to connect the two together, just rewatch that previous section a couple times and do it until you feel a little more comfortable. We're gonna start it now at tempo, so medium tempo. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, go one, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, I got options. Five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, one. All right, we're gonna go do tempo now. Um, just heads up, it's gonna be really fast, so you don't want to go that full out with like a lot of the combos. You don't need to go completely through your range of motion because there's just not enough time for that. So it's completely okay if you kind of make your movements smaller. What matters more is that it looks really crisp and you can see every single move in the sequence. Okay, from the top, ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, and a four, five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, Five and six and seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So as you do that, you're at the center on and, so 
three and four, you're just gonna lean out to the right as your right knee also comes out. Four, and then and switch opposite direction. Four and just to finish, just count off or this eight count off. You're gonna just um, hit on five. So your whole body, like everything, just stays hit on five, five. And when you hit on five, that initiates you to go around from the left to the right. On, yeah, so you're gonna hit five, go around, six, seven, so you're gonna land on seven right here. Yes. So from five again, you're right here, on and, four and, hit, five, six, seven. Yes. So your hands, once you hit, should be coming around to land on seven. And at that point, your right knee is going to be out. Yes. From there, on 8 and, you're just going to have your hands rub together. So the left one should be going up first on 8. And then on and, your left foot's going to slide out a little more. Yeah. So that's 8 and. So starting from the top again, from 1, just going over that knee count. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, and hit five, six, seven, eight, and. Yes. So with the lyrics for that part, it's the lyrics are dark haired itches like she go. I like them blonde like me go. So um, with the lyrics, just going as slowly from one, five, six, seven, eight, one. Dark hair itches like she go here. I like a blonde like me go. Yes. Moving on. So you just went eight and.
So you're going to have this lead. One, two, three. Bring everything over to the right 45. And to give you some momentum, you're going to bring your right arm and swing it down. While you're bringing your left one just down. So you went one, two, three. You're going to have this dip. Three, four. Bring your hand to your neck. Four, and then and, just bring it a level down, and. And your right hand should just still be back in neutral. You don't want it visible to the side or anything, just keep it to the back. So from here, just to finish it off, so you went four, and, <laughs> four and, hold five, six, six, you're gonna grab your elbow with your right hand, six, and push everything up, you wanna stand, um, with your weight distributed evenly, up and you're bringing your left hand to your mouth, and then your right hand should just be parallel to the ground. Sit up, stutter, get a slide your right across to your chest, to the right side of your chest, as your left is still at your mouth, but your elbow should be up, so both arms should be parallel to the ground now. Seven. Seven, eight, one. Those are the last two bases. You can do anything you want. It's your freestyle section, your little last however big bang you want to end it. But um, I just go eight, bring it around, and then just a little bowl. Yeah. And that's the end of the whole thing. Yay! So. Now we're just going to do my whole part again, slowly. Um, actually, let's start from five, six, seven, eight, and, and then go all the way to the end. So just hold right here. You just went for it. So one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, Three, four, and hold five, six, or seven, eight, one. Yes. Now let's connect it from the top. Okay, so starting from this section, just to clarify, I know you can say you can have your right arm free, but just to give it some placement and have it more clean, just put it up. So have your hand prop on your hip. So just to make sure it has somewhere to stick to instead of risking it being messy, just have it. So let's start from here and then go all the way to the end of counts. So this is one. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five. Six, or seven, eight, one. Okay, we learned the second half of my section, and now we're going to connect it from the top of my section all the way to the end, going slowly with counts. So you just end it right here on what? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three, and four, five, six. Seven, eight, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, one. Okay, now we're gonna go a little faster from the top of my section again all the way to the end. Um, ending on one right here. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven. Eight and one, two and three and four, five, six, seven, eight and one, two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight and one, two, three, four and five, six and seven, eight, one. Now we're going to speed it up to tempo with counts from the same spot, ending from the same spot, to the end. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, one. Now we're going to do music, my section only, all the way through.
bad for white. Hello. I put the ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in her friend zone. Ooh, ooh. I'm a boss all in the skin tone. I be messed up as Ben Jones. Ooh, ooh. Dark cat bitch like she go. I like I'm blind like Nito. Although I'm dying called Leo. I was still slide like Neo. Keep all around my pre-roll. New Orleans nigga, I'm Creo. She said, bitch, does that hurt when I deep though? I just better not for your T-hole. Yeah. Okay, so we finished learning the whole piece, so we're now gonna uh, connect it from the top. Uh, one of us will be facing forward, one of us will be facing back. Okay, so starting with uh, the very top. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight, one, two, three, and a four, five, six, and seven, and eight, one, two, three. Four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, six. Seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, one. Okay, from the top, medium tempo. Ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight, one, two, three, and a four, five, six, and seven, and eight, one, two, three. Four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight. Now we're going to do tempo, the whole key starting from the very top to the end. Okay. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, and five. Just a few reminders from us. Go ahead. Um, so if you have any other questions or there's a part you want to go over with us, we'll be again on Zoom um, on October 9th from 5 to 7 p.m. You can find that in our event page, the link to the Zoom. Mm -hmm. 
And um, when it comes to our different sections, like Derek taught the first half, I taught the second half, uh, just to, like, for clarity issues, for timing, I would suggest watching the choreographer because we tend to do it a little differently. So when it comes to the first half, uh, I would suggest watching Derek and second half, you can watch me. But yes, office hours, we will be there to answer any questions, especially if we had any hiccups during teaching that you need some clarity on, um, we'll be there to answer. Uh, yeah, so thank you for learning from us. Any last words? No, that's it. Okay. Good luck, y'all. Good luck. Hope to see your app. Okay.